the past alive if you've got the drive buckle up and race to the fossil frontier pedal to the floor and let the engine roar put it into primal instinctual gear delve into the ground discoveries abound hammer drill thrills by the millions await look into your heart powers off the charts dust away the past and grab a clean slate now's your chance the future's your own don't let the present imprison your dreams make your life in the wild unknown go and be free adventures right around the bend and the world's got wonders to spare prehistoric lord to restore and befriend so get out there go if you dare if you dig enough you'll see there is power Wondrous and thunderous creatures to breathe. Hit the road and give us sword. Your moment to shine. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Fossil Fighters Frontier 3DS. Are you guys ready for some more action? Welcome to part 11, everybody. And last time we left off at the Fossil Stadium, which we have to compete in because, of course, the three honkies. We still need to deal with. Alright, here we go, guys. You made it. That's great. Those schlubs are all ready to go. It's time to remind those guys who really run things around here. Uh, you mean you, Dahlia? You're the big mama, right? You're damn tootin'. Now let's go. Uh, okay. Right on, man. Those guys are gonna wish they'd never been born when I'm done with them. Uh, I, I believe it. Oh, God. She's scary, guys. Okay. I know you guys don't want me to keep using the same Vivisaurs. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and change it up, guys. Just for you guys' sake. Uh, let's go ahead and change the Vivisaur. You guys want to see the AR ones? These are the AR Vivisaurs right here. But this is the one that I dug up right here. Ancleo. And I've also dug up a Hipsy. I'm not gonna use Hipsy because this is Penny's Vivisaur. We've seen it a lot. I also dug up a Igua and Paraloth. Okay, let's go ahead and use Igwa because this is one of the ones that I dug up. It's not an AR Vivasaur. Alright, let's go hit the back button and Paleo Pals. Oh, we can have one more in here as well. Now, this is there's a reason why I don't want to use the uh, new Vivasaurs that I got in the game. Not the AR ones, the ones that I dig up. Because the thing is, their rank is damn low. So what I mean by that is, they're really under leveled and you kind of have to grind a bit you know to level them up I just don't have a lot of time to grind guys that's why I like using the AR Vivasaurs because the AR Vivasaurs are already at rank 12 and they're all you know ready to go pedal to the metal do it okay well anyways guys let's go and hopefully we have a good battle this time um there we go oh I forgot to give her an attack up damn that sucks Patchy is Dahlia's Vivasaur and Locke is attacking Roland. 23 damage. Okay, low fuss is off balance. Now it's our turn, guys. Let's go for a butt strike. And hopefully I can do a lot here. Let's go for against Locke. Let's go for a three attack up. Oh my god. Damn, this guy did 80 damage in one shot? Damn. Okay, maybe maybe I was wrong about the Vivid Swords in this game. I didn't think that they were this strong. I thought the, you know, oh yeah, 74 damage, guys, I'm down. Okay, so, that sucks. He's already down. Our Vivisaur's already down. So this is why I kind of wanted to use the AR ones, because, oh my god, Roland is done too. We might actually lose this. Uh-oh. Yeah, guys, this is why I have to use the AR ones, because I have to go and grind the other Vivisaurs. All right, let's go ahead and just all attack ups we can. 76 damage. Good job, Dahlia. Okay, please survive this hit. Please. 94 damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. 55 damage. That scared it. Oh, my God. She's scared. This sucks, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, I might be in trouble here. Okay, we might lose this. Damn it. Come on, can I heal her up? Yeah, I'm gonna go for double LP recovery. We really need her to survive. Because this is the only one left. Dahlia, it's all up to you. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh my. 
Ah, why? Ah, why? Just why? Okay, see, this is what I mean. Like, we were pretty close, but... Ah, ah, god damn it, why? Okay, so you guys saw the first failure of my life right here. Uh, can we try that again? Oh my god, what happened to that? Okay, let's talk to Dahlia. You made it, that's great! Okay, so we can do it again, but... Like, the thing is, you guys saw what happened there. Like, the reason why I don't use the other Vivasaurs is because they're stupidly weak. Because I gotta go and level them up. That's the only way I can do it. So, well, we saw some action with some Igwa right here. I'm sorry guys, but we're gonna have to go back to the regular AR Vivasaurs. Like I said, I'm sorry, I just don't have much time to grind. Let's go with Gorgo though, because we always use the Geo UTs. Uh, I'll be using these other guys. Like, I- Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no. I don't want to ready to begin. Sorry, I forgot to pick somebody else there. Oh god, that was embarrassing, guys. Damn. Uh, we're not going with Roland this time. Let's go with Leon. Leon and Dalio. Alright, so that was an example right there of why you should level up your Vivasaurs. Oh my god, that was embarrassing! What a failure. Okay. You wanna play? Let's go! Okay, let's go, Leon. Okay, this time we are gonna win this for sure, guys. Oh, I forgot to give him an attack up. Alright, 28 damage. And Leon's going for a twice attack. Let's give him three attack. 26. Okay. Not bad. He's going for a butt strike. You got an accuracy up. 30 damage. I got this one. Let's go, Patchy. Patchy. Let's give her four attack up. Alright, good job. 44 damage. Well, that settles that. Okay, let's go. Uh, we don't need an LP recovery. Oh, wait. We might need an LP recovery. Damn, that sucks. I didn't heal her. Okay, my bad. Okay, Gorgo. Show us what you got here, boy. Let's go for a tail bash. Knock down this guy locked because he's weak. Oh, look at that. Four attack ups. Oh, 129 damage. Damn, the power of the AR Vivasaurs. You can see that AR Vivasaurs are much better than the regular ones. Man. Okay. He's going for a metal spear. Oh, five attack boosts. 28 damage. Wow, Leon's, like, Leon's Patera is really, really weak. He never does that much damage, no matter how much attack boost you give him. No one's getting past Patera in that stance. And Lexus going for a scare factor. This might knock him out. 94 damage. 32, okay. Didn't do that bad. Okay, we'll finish him off anyways. Gorgo. Show what kind of beast you are. Oh, we can't go for a Tail Bash. We can go for a... Deadly Fangs, though. Wait, that's 34 damage. 39. Shoulder Attacker does more damage. Alright, let's use 4 Attack Boosts. 48 damage. Yeah. Okay, so the AR Vivasaurs are definitely way stronger. Because they're at rank 12. And I guess AR Vivasaurs are just better in general, I think. Maybe. And Pateri got to rank up. Nice job, Leon. Ha! Huh. I can't believe you thought you could beat me. And I don't want to hear any more lip from you guys ever. Go get jobs or something, you lazy bumps. You got it? Oh, yes, man. Look at the hell out of here. Oh. That was awesome, Jura. Now we just have to go back and tell the boss that went down. Oh, but we should probably get our story straight first and maybe leave our part about where I was leading a gang. Uh, it's partly your fault, Dahlia. I mean, maybe we should tell him, but... I'm impressed the two of you were able to bust up the Speed Fiends all by yourselves. I never saw it coming. Oh yeah, you both did really good. I'm happy, even if I look scared. <laughs> Thank you for doing that, guys. Alright, level up. Yeah. Now we are rank 4. Sweet. Uh, I guess that means I can trust you with Yaddle Hills now. I'll just open up the challenge routes then. I hear they're fun, but I've never been. Don't really leave this room very much. 
You can now access Yaddle Hills. Hey, so this is probably just one of those silly rumors that start from time to time. But is it true you beat the legendary Big Mama in a time attack? I hear she has crazy eyes and a foot made of solid gold. Oh, and her hands have permanently fused with her steering wheel. Haha, <laughs> oh don't be silly. She's not like that at all, right, Jiro? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Okay. Okay, calm down, girl. Come on, Jiro. Tell him it wasn't like that. Do it now! Uh, is something wrong? Never mind, guys. Don't worry about it. No, nothing wrong. Haha. <laughs> ah, uh, okay. I'm just glad that you know you guys helped us out. If trouble comes here again, Jura, I'd love if you could maybe help us out more. Cause otherwise, I'd have to do it and yeah, that probably wouldn't end well. Okay, gotcha, Captain Drake. Holy smokes, I was nervous as an engine with a faulty piston ring in there. Listen though, you have to promise, I mean promise never to tell anyone that I was Big Mama. Or that I let the speed fiends or challenge you to a race or any of it actually. Cause I don't want to go to jail. Of course I won't. I mean, duh, why would I do that, right? Sweet. And in exchange for being a friend and not ratting me out, I'll become your paleo pal. What a deal, right? Honestly, I was ready to do it in a moment. You beat me in that race. So what do you say? Want to make it official? Let's do it. Sweet. Dahlia became our paleo pal. Throw me in your team whenever you feel like cruising around a dig set, okay? Later. Peace out, girl. Bye. Okay, we gotta go see Captain Striker now. Oh man, that was so embarrassing, guys. I mean, this game is not that hard, and I got my ass whooped by a couple losers there. Oh, wait, wait, my bad. My bad, I don't wanna go out here. We gotta go to the world and go mis visit uh, Captain Striker. Oh man, like I'd like to use the other Viva Swords, but you guys saw what happened there. Like, you know, and like I said, I'm sorry, I just don't have enough time to grind. The only way I could do it for you guys is to grind, you know, grind and then use them. But ah man, I just wish I had more time, guys. I mean I really love love this game. It's really fun. But, you know, I just don't have the time. Oh hey, it's Jura. Has that dumb Vivasaur of yours stopped biting people in the butt yet? He's gonna bite my ass again! You know, Striker may be a hero to save the world and all, but I still don't get why he made you look after that bitey Vivasaur. Striker saved the world? When? Wait a second, you really don't know why Striker's so famous! That's nuts! Okay, let me fill you in. That, but it's kind of a long story, so bear with me, okay? Five years ago, there was a scary evil organization that was plotting world domination, you know? Like they do. They were called the BR Brigade. They were scary in a lot of ways, but worst of all was their secret weapon, Enhanced Dark Vivasaurs. I hear they even used those Vivasaurs to take over certain fossil parks. Finally, the International Fossil Police, or Interfall, decided to take a stand. Interfall put Captain Striker on the carriage and charged them with disbanding the BR Brigade once and for all. Striker attracted VR Brigade's leader, a man named Dr. Baron Von Blackraven, to his totally awesome submarine lair. And yeah, I guess he's both a doctor and a baron. I don't know, seems like an overly long name if you ask me. Anyway, Striker and Blackraven fought like a couple of wild badgers, but eventually the captain emerged victorious. And yeah, lots of people helped out behind the scenes, but Striker was pretty much the hero of the day. I think they had a parade for him or something, but I'm a little fuzzy on that part. Anyway, it's a reward for taking out the trash. They made Tr Striker the leader of the newly established Wardens. Hey, wait a second. How did you ever pass all those Warden tests without knowing any of this? Haha. <laughs> well, did I need to know that? Yeah, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I've stood here yapping long enough. Go visit the captain for yourself. Alright, man. Nice to meet you, by the way. Didn't see you for a long time, Nate. Hey, what's, what's going on, Professor Little? I can't believe this is happening. He actually escaped. I calculate an 88% chance he will seek revenge on you, Captain Striker. Um, uh, I'm not so sure. He knows that getting revenge on me is a luxury in the bigger picture. That's what makes him so dangerous. 
Plus, it sounds like his top two lieutenants got away along with him. If he's getting the old gang back together, it's for more than just revenge. Inform the wardens of this at once, and work with them together as much intel as you can. Right away, Captain, although... At ease, Professor. I know exactly what you're worried about, and there's no need to panic. I've only informed a select few individuals about that. Dr. Black Raven doesn't have any idea I'm sure of it. Huh? You wanted to see me, Captain? Brrr. Brrr. Uh, Jura, you're here good. I'm s I'll start informing you the others once at, at once, Captain. Good day. Alright, we need to talk, Jura. I heard back from both Sean and Drake. It sounds like you're doing excellent work out there, I'm proud of you. However, right now, I need you to meet another leader here in Warden HQ. Um, aren't you the leader? I'm the leader of the Wardens, true. However, my duties often take me far away. That's why Warden HQ has its own dedicated leader who serves in the same capacity as Sean and Drake. His name is Leo Ren, and I wager you remember him from your early lessons. Oh yeah, I remember him, the Kung Fu Master, right? You should be able to find him in the leader's office just below us. Okay, gotcha, Captain. Hey, what's up, my man? Leo Ren. Hello, Jura. Between America and Europe, it sounds like you've been having quite the adventure. So in case all that travel led you to forget, let me introduce myself again. My name is Leo Ren, and I'm the leader here at HQ. Hi again, I heard you had an 8th degree black belt. Your timing couldn't be better actually. We just received a distress call from a dick site here in Fossil Park, Asia. Sounds like someone's bone buggy broke down and left them stranded. I need you and Nate to head there right away and lead the rescue mission. Okay, we'll leave at once, little Ren. Thank you very much. Oh, and here, you can use these spare parts to repair the bone buggy in question. Thank you. Your destination is a dick site called Lantern Lake. You can now go to Lantern Lake. Since you're still new, Jura, let me give you some advice. Upgrading your sonar will make it much easier to find fossils. Oh, and about Lantern Lake. You can find fossils there that match up with those from Paradise Beach. You can even enhance Nate's Adafo if you manage to find the right fossils. Anyway, such fossils make it an extremely popular place for fighters looking to upgrade their vivasaurs. However, as it is often the case, when so many have grand dreams, trouble often follows, and that's why we need your help. Finally, a mission! I was about to die of boredom! Are you guys ever gonna finish yakking? I can't wait anymore! I'm out of here! Woo! Peace! Smell ya later! Huh, youth. Well then, I wish you both good luck. Kids these days, they don't know how to stop themselves. Okay, everybody! Well, let's go ahead and visit the Lantern Lake! Fossil Mart is now open for business! Yeah! You can buy special items, or try your hand at excavating a dig a lotto. With items like chisels and time extenders at your disposal, you can attempt to tackle challenge routes all by your lonesome. Okay, that is awesome. Hold on a second, guys. So they want us to go to Lantern Lake, right? They want us to go to Fossil Park. Okay, um... Let's just take a look at the Fossil Mark, guys. Because we haven't taken a look at it yet. Hello, lady. I'd like to go... Yes, yeah, my first visit to the Fossil Mark. Okay. Dig a day lotto. So, digging up these fossils won't be easy, but if you can manage it, it's yours. Oh, okay. Uh, dig a day lotto. Dig a day lotto. Should we try that right now? Uh, it's a secret to everybody. Before we begin, yeah, sure. You know what? Let's go ahead and do the dig a day lotto, everybody. I mean, why not? I mean, I've never tried it. See how well it goes. Price fossil is a F Raptor rare arm fossil. Sure, I'll give it a try. So what's gonna happen? Oh, okay, so we just dig it up right now. Okay. 
Oh, it's already purple. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use a drill, actually. I should have started with a drill. Ooh, I'm damaging it here and there. Okay, let's go switch it back. And I'm gonna be trying to be very careful this time. I'm still learning how to do this, guys. So, please bear with me. I am a terrible digger. Okay. I think I'm getting better, though. Okay, let's try to drill. Oh, no! I want to drill. Damn it, I already got damaged there. Okay, let's try drilling this, guys. I'm trying to be very careful. Come on, why isn't it working? Oh, crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more digging here, it seems. Okay, let's go dig that up. Okay, there we go. Okay, no, I don't- I wanna use the drill now. There we go. Okay, I mean, I'm not doing that- Oh, crap, I'm damaging it. Okay. Okay, I'm running out of time, guys. I'm running out of time. Uh. Where am I still missing? Here? Oh, zero seconds, 78 points. Okay, that wasn't that great, but... I mean, I tried to get, like, 90 or 85 points... Uh, but I'm still so not very good at this. Okay, well, at least we got it. So we got a raptor. Let's see what this is. Yeah, revival! Alright, who could it be? Ooh, that's pretty cool. F raptor. That's a pretty cool, uh... That's a pretty cool vivasaur, guys. I mean, it's like a golden raptor. Yay, thank you. Okay, so it looks like this is basically free fossil, Digo de Lotto or whatever. Uh, but let's go ahead and buy some digging gears, maybe. Chisel. Time extender. You know what? I don't know. I don't know if I want to really get those. Okay, um, let's just end the episode right here, guys. I mean, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Lantern Lake on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching this once again. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. I do read all your comments, and I do really appreciate that you guys are rating and, you know, watching my videos. Thank you for doing that, everybody. Red Fox Games sign out. Have fun, everybody, with, you know, fossiling and vivisoring. See you, everybody. Have a good one, everybody.